Hey there, so we're back working on the TI Calculator tutorials and we're in chapter 13 now and I'm going to show you how to do a one-way ANOVA with the TI Calculator. Now to be honest with you, this is not really something I would do a lot of. The mini tab and Excel outputs are much nicer, much better, and StatCrunch for that matter, are much nicer, much better looking. Um, they have things in an organized table form. They can show you confidence intervals and box plots and um, interaction plots and things are just better. But if you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and you've got to get some quick answers, then I suppose the calculator will do. Now, what they're doing here is they they played advertisements, Muzak, and classical music while people waited on the phone at a different at an airline, and the operator never picked up, was never going to pick up, and they waited to see how long people would wait, depending on what they were given to listen to. So the null hypothesis would be that, look, there's no difference in what you played for people. They're just going to stay on the same amount of time no matter what. And that's the null hypothesis, that the mean time for advertisements is equal to the mean time for Muzak, which is equal to the mean time for classical. The alternative to that is that at least one of those means is different. Now, I noticed when I was looking this over that they never gave us an alpha, so I'm just going to assume that alpha is the generic 0.05, even though I know that that's a bad thing to do, and often it's not accurate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my F test statistic. I'm going to do that by using the calculator. All right, so what we do is we go to Stat, we go to Edit. We're going to clear out any old columns of data. I've got some goodness of fit data, I think, from Chapter 12 in there. I'm going to type in my three columns. I would have paused you, but I can type that pretty fast. Now, we want to go next to run stat tests, and you want to go to the very bottom, actually. So if you go up, you end up at the bottom. I know it's kind of strange. And you're going to pick this one, which, despite the instructions say that it's F, but in my calculator it's H. But whichever one it is, you look for a Nova. There it is, H. Okay, now I'm going to tell it what lists I want it to run the ANOVA on. So for me, it was L1, comma, L2, comma, L3. If you had four lists, you'd pick four, whatever. And you press Enter. And there it is, and it gives you all this information. So you can see the mean squared T, the mean squared error, and all this jazz. It's all in here. You just got to search for it a little bit. So MST was 74.6, MSE was 11.6, E stands for error, it's right there, T is your factor, right, or treatments, if you call it, that's why the T, so treatments, so for me it was the music, or Muzak, <laughs> that was the treatment, and then they tell us the F statistic, let me go up and you can see it, so the, the treatment is the factor stuff, so that's done, and then the F is right there, it's 6.4. 431. There's your F test statistic. Okay, then you find your p-value, but the p-value is given to you. It's 0 0.0126. Okay, so then step four. Actually, this is a little off from what we're used to. I mean, we're used to having another step in there, but that's okay. We can, we can wing it. All right, so we will totally reject the null hypothesis because p equals 0 0.0126 is less than alpha that we made up to be 0 0.05. And that means that there is sufficient evidence, step five, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that music has an effect on how long people are willing to stay on the phone. I shouldn't just say music because it could be advertisements too. So how about this, that what you play while people are on hold, how about that, has an effect on how long people are willing to stay on the phone. Alrighty, we're done with chapter 13. Um, again, there's a lot more in there, but we're only showing you just the how to do the part with, or excuse me, with the TI calculator. All right, I'll see you later.